assist. Everyone yeah. talked about how like Bayonetta was like Marvel because she just needed one dive kick and she could just con turn it into like a giant combo with one player. Now you have Zelda who's also from Marvel, has an assist. Phantom Knights, look at it, it comes out immediately. It's so quick and it's hard to deal with sometimes. Yeah, so so Optic Gambit is uh, manning the Zelda here. This guy are rocking the Lucina. Lucina obviously is something that's a super solid character. Like, she still has a lot of the same things that she had uh, in Smash 4. No, yikes, baby. I mean, that she, ain't good. She's so good. She just got Zelda to SD on herself. But the thing is, a lot of top players have been talking about, like, who's better, Martha or Lucina? A lot of heads are saying Lucina right now. I mean, Mystery doesn't want it to be true. Mystery's going to continue to play Marth because he is a Marth main at heart. But, like, MK Leo finally gave up and is also playing Lucina now. Yeah, hey, man, we'll see how it works out here. Nonetheless, so Optigamma trying to get himself back in uh, the game right here. Doing a pretty okay job. You know, uh, Zelda has a lot of kill power behind these, a lot of oof behind these moves like that. The That's fancy. scoops. That's an anti-air. Yes. It does everything, man. It bakes you dinner. <laughs> it protects you Force from the monsters. Get him out of here. Yeah, that move still be really good, though. The one advantage, oh, what's going on here? I think oh, something's going on with like, Gambit's teleports. Because I was I was going to say, the one thing about Zelda is really good, and this also falls back into Smash 4, is that she was a really hard character to edge guard because her up B is just so good in regards to, yeah. to height. Like, it also just, kills. Like, yeah. if, you, if you miss time it trying to get the edge guard, when she's in disadvantage, like, you could die. Oh, yeah, my endorphins start running when I get parried into Feyor's win. It's insane, man. <laughs> Nonetheless, uh, Optigant is having a hard time generating any sort of offense right now. I mean, right now, this guy is playing pretty safe. Just going, you know, notice he's holding on to shield because he recognizes that Upbeat can definitely get some kills. Good miss, good spacing coming up from this guy. Recognizing the Optic Gambit was just going to go for an aggressive landing. Catches the forward smash, taking away game one. I won. <laughs> you did Krom, Krom says, uh, Krom says he's proud of you. I promise. Yeah. Why did you just talk to him in the CSS screen? You know what makes me mad? That Krom doesn't have the same victory theme that Lucina yeah, and that's Robin so, does. That's so strange. They're literally the three main characters of that game. And he, he gets the boring one. <laughs> I'm, I'm tight. Krom's a dad. He's supposed to be boring. Do, he <laughs> <laughs> Do you know about the story between Krom and Fire Emblem Awakening? I actually don't. About how, how okay. So I'm going to sum up the entire game to Awakening okay. in like two minutes. Uh, be as spoiler free as possible. It is basically Robin coming up with a crazy idea like ram the ship into the enemy ship, and the entire team going, no, that's a stupid idea, we'll die. And Krom saying, I like it, let's do it. And then they do it, and it works. That's the game. That is Fire Emblem Awakening in a nutshell. Wow. Three, Go on. Two, Final Destination. One, and we got to Game the, and Watch. To the theme of Duel Zone coming up. I love that the song's in the game. Wait, did he just? Yeah, so uh, Bucket uh, acts as both an absorbing move and a reflector. But does that mean for Phantom Knight? Yeah. Phantom yeah, Knight's a projectile, I guess, technically. Yeah, yeah, it's a projectile. That's true. The villager can pocket it and Fox can reflect it. So that's OD. It's te she's technically throwing it. You know, so it's technically a projectile. I love these new animations for Game & Watch. <laughs> I'm not being on the real. Like, I'm yeah. They gave him so much character. It's so fun. So we'll see how this works out here. Um, Right now, I guess it's just this guy just kind of flexing using a secondary right here. Uh, and there we go. There we go. Again, another aggressive landing coming from Optic Gambit. This guy's just going to go for an easy forward smash to get that punish. So this guy go for, oh, yep. Oh, rude. <laughs> just respond with the forwarder. That actually is something that's um, that's a thing with Zelda. Uh, her, her combo break is actually lightning kick just because it comes out so quick. Yeah, that, that was super fast. Funny. Also, Game Watch's forward a little bit different allows you to just drop a bomb on the opponent. Yeah, but all you have to do to avoid getting hit by it is hit it. Wow. <laughs> that <laughs> Alexa. <laughs> Alexa, play the curve here. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I, you know what? <laughs> Why is every match that I witness with Game & Watch the silliest game I've seen? Can we talk about how that 9 didn't kill, though? That was wild. Yeah, honestly, why didn't that kill? I'm, a, I'm tight. I'm tight for just. I've never right been now. so mad about something that makes me mad to begin with. All right, there we go. Down air. Gambit's 84%. Gets out into the landing. Catches him off guard, not holding shield. Yeah, just kind of charging the Phantom right there. Good job right there. Is this guy yeah, getting a little antsy right now? Yeah, probably. So he probably just wants to end the game as soon as, soon as possible. He got the, like I said, his endorphins are probably like running at hyper speed right now. He got the nine hammer. Going supersonic out here. There we go. Dash attack again. He's not really committing to anything too. Okay. There we go. I mean, if you're just going to do it. 
Might as well. Hey, it can work. If at first you don't succeed, do it again. Skaya taking game number two, 2-0 victory over Optic.